How's it going? Today we're going to talk about using a crossbow for your bug out bag. So what I've been carrying in my backpack this whole time will actually shock you. Um, check this out. Oh, I'm fighting the wind really bad right now. But check this out. This right here is a crossbow. It's a pistol crossbow. Uh, as you can see, it fits my backpack. It weighs right under three pounds. It has 150 pound limbs, a 50 pound draw weight, and it shoots up to 420 feet per second. So let's talk about using this for your bug out bag. So when we talk about bug out bag, we're talking about doomsday, uh, post apocalyptic times, government went bonkers. You got to make a run for the woods and survive. You're either hiding from people, the government, zombies, I don't know. Whatever, whatever you're hiding from, you're hiding from it and you need a weapon. Now, you can have a huge arsenal of weapons. However, if you're gonna dial it down, there's a few weapons that would stand out. Now you're gonna want, there's either a firearm, a bow, or a crossbow. Now every, now every weapon has its own plus and its own minus. Uh, obviously with the rifle, you can shoot long range, it's powerful. With a crossbow, um, you're not gonna be shooting as far, however, it's silent. With a traditional bow, you might be able to shoot further than a crossbow. However, it's also bigger than this crossbow, for example. Um, but today we're gonna really be talking about using a pistol crossbow. So right off the bat, why wouldn't you wanna use a rifle? A rifle, first of all, they're gonna be hard to get your hands on them. Especially if something goes down, they're gonna be cracking down, who knows where it's gonna go. Uh, it might be very difficult to get your hands on them. Let's say you do have a rifle, however. I don't know if I would wanna use a rifle just because if I'm hiding out in the boonies, one of the main things that I'm worried about is being silent. I wanna make sure that nobody knows where I'm at. However, I still want a reliable weapon that can take down big game and small game. With the rifle, you could hear a rifle shot from a couple miles away, and there you go, you blew your camp. Um, you gotta make a run for it. It's not worth it. That's why with the crossbow, it's powerful enough to take down deer, hogs, and all other small game, pretty much. However, it's also extremely quiet. Another great thing about using a pistol crossbow versus a traditional uh, either recurve longbow or compound bow is that those bows are all pretty large in size. Um, you can't put that in a backpack. They're not as maneuverable. Uh, they're big, they're clunky. They're not clunky, but you know, they're, they don't fit in a backpack like this. The nice thing about this is you could throw it in a backpack. If you need to make a run for it, you're on the run. Uh, you, your hands are open. You're maneuverable. You can move through the brush easily. Um, you can also you can also shoot prone, meaning you can lay down and shoot the crossbow. With the bow, you're gonna have to be standing or kneeling. Now in hunting situations, you know, sometimes you gotta be laying down. Or let's say you're defending your, your little base camp and you can either hide in a tree, you can do that with rifle, bow, or whatever. But let's say you need a ghillied out, you're in a ghillie suit, you need to be laying down. With the bow, you can't be laying down and shooting it. With the crossbow, you can lay down and shoot it. Another great thing about using a crossbow is that it requires less skill than a bow. With a bow, you need to practice very often, at least once a week, if you want to be proficient, if that. Um, you know, but usually I'm shooting my bow. I try to shoot it, you know, once a day or once every few days uh, to really keep my skills sharp. With the crossbow, you get it sighted in once and you're good to go. So the learning curve on a crossbow versus a bow uh, is a lot smaller than with the bow. Another thing I love about this specific crossbow is its ease super easy to use. Check this out. There you go. You're cocked. 
you can load the bolts and you can go out and hunt or whatever you need to do self-defense doesn't matter you need to unload it you unload it so as you could see if you could pull back a 50 pound bow you would be able to pull this back now if you need more help there is a foot stirrup right here that you could stand on and cock it however for me i'm 6'2 200 pounds it's a breeze 150 pound limbs meaning that this is shooting at extremely high speeds uh, we've taken down deer hogs small game with this crossbow with a deadly broad tip with the right shot placement you know whatever you're shooting at is at danger i don't know if you guys knew this or not but you could use a crossbow for bow fishing you attach a reel on here and you go you go to the lake you see some fish you can pop them usually out of stream would work better because you can see them swimming around um you know it's 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 a tool it's it's not there's not only one purpose not only one way to use it with the crossbow like this there are so many different ways that you can use it with the bolts also the bolts are reusable uh unlike a, unlike a firearm where you have one shot um, per bullet with the bolts with the crossbow bolt you can shoot them multiple times and if you need be if need be you can also build your own bolts you get willow tree or some some straight hardwood boom 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 whittle it up and you got yourself a bolt with the rifle or a firearm i mean you can save the shell however it would be difficult to get those resources needed to load the bullet with the crossbow like i said you just get straight sticks, get some feathers, find some broadheads, uh, some stones, and you've, you've made yourself a batch of bolts. So those are all the reasons why I would pack this crossbow right here. Uh, this is in my bug out bag. If need be, I have it on me. It's in my backpack. It's easy to hide, easy to conceal, and it, it, it just it's so light and it's so small. However, it's so powerful. Um, it, it would be silly not to pack it now obviously you would want extra strings you would want a press tool the press tool is really small it just two metal um, plates or aluminum plates and it just it's a no-brainer for me so if you guys want to learn more about this crossbow if you want to purchase this crossbow I'll leave a link down below um, you guys can check out all of our social media pages. We have a bunch of information on it. And once again, I'll leave a link down below. Comment down below what you guys think about this crossbow. Would you use this crossbow for your bug out bag? Um, or would you use a full size crossbow? Or would you rather choose a rifle or a bow? Let me know, I'd love to hear it. <sighs> but that's a wrap guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like comment down below with what you would use and don't forget to subscribe for more videos i'll see you in the next video